The world has been enchanted by the likes of Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, and Game of Thrones, but now a new fantasy epic is brewing that you won't want to miss. What's up everybody, my name is Joshua Yale and I want to tell you about the next great dark fantasy epic. It's called Monstrous. It's a comic series that's been going for a few years, but has really built one story arc on top of another to become something truly special and cool and worth making a video about. The monstrous of the title is Micah Halfwolf, a teenage girl with a creepy elder god type monster inside of her. When she gets riled up, its black tentacles sprout out of the stump where her arm was cut off and she goes nuts. It's super gross and awesome. Micah is caught in the middle of a war between the Arcanics and the Kumea. She's one of the Arcanics, magical humanoid creatures with animal features ranging from ears or tails all the way to sometimes just being a giant, handsome tiger man who captains a boat. Arcanics are hunted down by the Kumea witches who enslave them and chop them up to consume their magic. These witches are all about preserving their pure bloodline and outlaw mixing with Arcanics like Micah who have to fight to survive and are lucky if they happen to pass as human. As you can already tell, this is a story wrought with social and political themes. Micah's main mission throughout this series is to discover what happened to her mother and learn why she was bound to the monster inside of her. Let's just say that nothing goes according to plan and she's forced to journey from great cities to mystical islands and beyond where she encounters dangerous, bloodthirsty creatures and even more dangerous people from her mother's past. All the while, a rich, expansive world is built around her. Writer Marjorie Liu is a novelist, so there's little wonder how she's able to craft such a deep and imaginative fantasy world with details big and small to make it different and special from the fantasy stuff we're all used to by now. Look, I've never been one to read all the extra lore and trivia and stuff that comes in the back of the book, but I devour everything Monsters has to offer. It's so good, and it's so not for kids. There's gruesome violence, tons of blood, and Micah's favorite thing to say is pretty much the F word. But for all of the adult content, Micah's sidekicks are a tiny, adorable little fox girl and a sassy cat with two tails. There's a gravity and a shrewdness to the storytelling that takes all of these disparate elements and makes them work together seamlessly. It reads like a twisted little dream. But what really makes the story sing is the artwork by one Sana Takeda. Her art is bold and evocative and absolutely dripping in dark beauty. And if you needed any more convincing, Monsters was IGN's pick for the best comic book of 2018. If you decide to check it out, let me know what you think in the comments. And for more comic book stuff, check out our list of some other great comics from 2018 and a killer Batman comic that is an instant classic. And be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN.